Hey guys, today we're going scouting for a house location. So we're starting off over to the east of the spawn. It's us there, and that's the spawn over there. Our friend Kageyami is around here, and we're going to be heading over further to the east, down near this forest here. I want a good supply of oak and birch wood. So I want to build my house out of birch, and I like to use oak tools and charcoal, or else I need oak wood for. So then, let's get started. Okay, so just the skeleton shoot at us. I'm gonna go into the Bam, bam, bam! Ah, that was pretty easy. Okay. Let's just do it right there. For a little bit. And continue on. Do, do, do. And look, sheep. We will be needing these guys for a bed, so we better take them out. Really need to get a sword too. It's a bit annoying trying to kill a sheep. Ah, flying sheep. Okay. A pig. Ha 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 ha. I'll come back and try and breed these later. I gotta remember these are here. Put the ramps back. Continue on. You on our way. The sun is rising, so we got plenty of time before dark. Wonder what I should use for meat. So far, we have seen chickens and sheep. Either one could be good, and we're already going to breed the sheep. Then again. It'd be fun to have different animals for different produce. Sheep for wool, chickens for meat. I think it'd be fun. Give them a little pen and everything. Diversify. Okay, I might speed this up a bit. We're just really wandering around aimlessly, just checking out the land for a while. We might try and keep near the riverbed. Ooh, what's this one? I don't recognize this. Must be from one of the mods I haven't used yet. We'll have to come back and have a look at this later. Definitely interesting. This area looks a bit nice. Nice mountainy area with a bit of wall getting around. Now this. This is interesting. A Pegasus. I was reading about this in the mod list. Flying horse. That'd be quite useful. I'm gonna have to tether that up and have it with him later. Don't really know how to tame the breed. The mod description left a bit of mystery. And Air crystals from Thorncraft. Useful again. I don't get into Thorncraft that much. Well, haven't yet. I'd love to. No Kageyami has a good interest. Overall, this area is really good. You got the Pegasus nearby, a bit of Thorncraft stuff, lots of ore. Hey, look, pigs too. Got the source of meat. Oh, and another Pegasus over there. Not too far from the spawn or Kageyami town. Meat, flying horses, but easy access to plenty of corn. I'm gonna set up right here. When I find a spot for a home or when I first spawn in the world, I tend to build a bit of a dirt tower and then I leave. Well, then I tear it down and just leave a floating dirt block on top. So I know where I've been, so I can easily identify it. It doesn't really take place. Sometimes it does in Minecraft. Not always. Okay, let's leave a waypoint so we don't lose our house. Just as soon as I remember how, I haven't used this mod in a while. Ah, uh, there we go. Name, colour, 
Uh, should be two. Maybe. Yeah, that's better. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had a beacon too. I'm used to rise maps, not journey maps. Journey maps is pretty cool though. Beacons all. Well, I think it's time to go get some wood and start building the house. I'm gonna sate my hunger so we don't start running out of too much health and begin running around. I'm gonna speed it up again, guys. I think I'll try and get about a stack of birch and a s separate stack of oak wood as well. Gonna need a fair bit of both. I'll need some stone for a furnace later, as well as stone tools. Probably just get enough tools right now. Worry about the furnace when we actually build our house. Oh no, it's night time. Scary. Oh no, a witch. Time for our first monster fight. Well, kind of. I had that skeleton earlier, but I was sort of cheating. Ah, it was easy. Actually, it's the easiest to have beaten a witch. Not destroy me. Felt a bit too easy. I have to check difficulty later. It's on easy, I'll turn to normal. And onto the oak wood. Ha 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 ha. Good. I lost too much health, only that slowness for the witch. Actually, I'll fix the settings up now, as soon as I remember how to use commands and alt myself. There we go. And now the difficulty is set to normal. Whitelist was apparently turned off. Definitely need to fix that. And need to remember how to spell my friend's name. Oh no! Well, that's what happens when you get distracted on Facebook, guys. Creepers blow you up. Don't make that mistake. Oh hey, look. Fast Leaf Decay mod. That's cool. Okay, going to resume fast speed again now to skip through a bit. Well, for a bit. Okay, so I think I've collected enough wood now. I've got the saplings too. Uh, I'm gonna head back, start building the house, and then maybe set up a small tree farm as well, so I have to keep wandering out. Okay, so now it's time for all the basic fun stuff. Kind of. Boring in reality. Just gonna make some doors, some wooden planks, and etc. Make a house out of. Do a bit of landscaping too, patch up this lake. Gonna cut in how far forward it brings the house. There we go. A bit better. So we're starting off with just a small little hut. Bit of a rectangular prism. 
two doors offset each other, front door closest, middle, back door will be off to the side. Set a waypoint, Kageyama distance. Not going to make it very tall. I think it only about three blocks high. The roof, um, fourth level up, fourth and fifth level. These sounds sound so much cooler and possible. Just doing the basic old thing using the steps for your room. I'm pretty happy with this space. Should do for now. that cute little zombie. Okay, there we go, now we the roof part. And I think I've placed those wrong. So we're just gonna torch my little man by destroying his hand. Listening to the cute sound of zombies. In fast forward. That's actually quite a useful mod there. Don't need everyone to go to sleep. Ha 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 Die! What the hell's that? Seen that before? Cool. Died random. Spirit. Have a look into that later. Dare fail. <laughs> and there we go, that's really it for the house. Just gonna finish that roof up. And then we'll need to nice some lighting. Still haven't made the furnace yet. We'll need that to get the charcoal, the torches. Or we could go destroy some coal. Or something nearby. There we go. Stone. And the charcoal. Chest as well. Inventory can be full. Split that up soon. And use the light level mod to make sure we're good for monster spawns. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Accidentally went into full screen. When I do that, Minecraft goes into like a little square window when I exit full screen. Quite annoying. Okay, well, now we're back. And we've finished building our little hut. I think we're going to go check out Kagayam's house and collect some basic materials. We need some... something for food, other than meat. I think I'm gonna collect some mushrooms and try and hunt some skeletons in night time. Generally use mushroom stew as a food in vanilla, as it's quite good for hunger and saturation. So let's speed it up a bit and go hunting. Oh yeah, we got. Gonna go collect some more stone first, the tools. And we also need to fix up the lighting at the house. After we get the stone, we're gonna need to patch that up. Okay, time to use a handy light level tool. Okay, now that'll keep monsters away from spawning right next to our door. Be a bit of a saver. Now we'll enter inventory, go out, journey, I mentioned earlier. Oh, 
Well, this is quite cool. Unicorns. These are another horse from Texas. And from earlier on, when I was reading about them, it said you can breed the different horses together to combine their features. Say so you can breed a Pegasus and a unicorn together to get a horse with wings and a horn. Apparently, if you breed different horses together, you can even find secret combinations that breed very powerful horses. So we'll have to have some fun with this mod later. I'll definitely get into the breeding of them. And when I was reading, the author did quite give away how to tame parts either. We haven't tried to ride any of these yet, but it would definitely be worth our while trying to ride some of them later. See which ones need to be tamed, don't. Try and figure all that out. It will be plenty of fun. Ah, uh, here we go again. Yet another horse. I think there was only four different types of these, so we've been quite lucky so far. I found three out of four of them. Now, I'm not quite sure of the name of this one. I think it's Destructor. Like the tooltip doesn't quite display properly to these ones. I wonder. Can we ride it? Might as well test it. We haven't tested the others yet. Oh, cool. Look at that. Destroy the leaves if we're on top. Probably one of the most annoying things in vanilla Minecraft. You can't destroy the leaves. You can't even move through them. You just have to get stuck there. Fine. Very good. This is really cool. I wonder how destructive they are. Carefully test that later. Don't want to destroy the cargo yum. Hope he doesn't mind the throw it. We'll see them. Turn it. It's no problem. It's to. That's quite. A, that must be his green. And that's about it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.